The Husqvarna 125 BV. 125 blower vacuum. Let's, I did a review on the uh, steel version of this. Uh, this one's actually a CC larger. Stop. All right, before we go any further, if you guys like what you're about to see, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe. It really, really helps the channel out. We're almost to the point where I can get monetized to do this stuff. And really, that would help me a lot because I own and run a business with just me and my wife. Uh, we're very busy. We got a little boy. So maybe a little incentive from uh, YouTube would help a little bit. But uh, yeah, if, if you get something from this, if it makes you want to buy it, makes you not want to buy it, go ahead, click the like button, share it later. I believe, um, and, and it just works better. A couple, couple main points is the bag is larger. It's more breathable, so you get more airflow. The um, the tube is easier to get on and off. Um, the I'll shut this off. The primer and the choke system works better. Um, typical classic Husqvarna tool. You put it on full choke, pull it twice, move it to half choke, pull it once, and then it starts on uh, the um, next pull. Um, but I mean, it just, the only thing I don't like about it is getting this tube off and putting it putting the straight blower tube on is a little more difficult you have to loosen this this bolt up to get it in there but overall i mean this thing right here just literally twists off um but besides all that stuff you guys want to know how it works so i got these leaves right here they're they're not 100 percent dead you know they, they come off this viburnum and ligustrum so i'm gonna go ahead and vacuum these up and you guys can see how uh, how quickly I can move. Actually, let's do these. Check these out. Just for a size comparison, here's uh, here's my hand. So it's not a lot, but I mean they're they're pretty deep, right? So let's go ahead and suck those up and see what we can do. As you can see it uh it works really good actually um and like i said i think it has a lot to do with the bag being uh, sorry i think it has a lot to do with the bag being more breathable um so what happens is you get more air if i were to use the steel version of this and try to suck up the same wet leaves it, it would just clog the bag immediately and i wouldn't get any more suction out of it so it's it's fairly nice it, it really is um ergonomics um another thing i don't like about this but a thing that i do like about the steel is on the steel when you have this strap over your shoulder and you are you know you're aiming this down towards the ground this piece right here can swivel so on this they got it set up pretty good it's probably set up you know for a better angle for somebody a little shorter i'm almost i'm pretty much six three um so it works good. Another thing is the bolt that they give you to put in here to hold this together permanently on the steel, it just kind of clicks in and twists. This one has a bolt and sometimes, you know, you can't really see it, but sometimes leaves will get stuck on that bolt on the inside. But other than that, I mean, this thing comes off, you just twist it and it pops off like that. Put it back on, you line it up and you twist it. And I've been using it all day, every day for, you know, a couple months now. Um, I mean, it works, it works really good. What I like more about it is it doesn't, it's easy to tune. It's not one of those crazy things where you have to constantly tune it. Um, I run like 45 to one in it and, and it works really good. But that's my review. I'll, I'll send you out with one more shot of me sucking up some leaves.